Welcome back, everybody. This is the shop build. I'm Corey Rogers. And for this video, what we're gonna be working on is our foundation wall form. So we got a concrete foundation and uh, uh, about, about a five foot tall stem wall. And we're gonna be finishing up the, the form work for it as well as kicking it off, straighten it up. Like we got the string line right here uh, and all that sort of thing and much, much more to come. So join me on this adventure of learning and showing you how to uh, um, form up for concrete. It's like I said in the other videos, it is a monolithic pour. I'm gonna be using snap ties and something different and that's not usual. I'm using two by sixes and the main the reason that I'm using the two by sixes so that I can reuse that for my framing. So let's... Uh... When you get to the corners, you gotta play close attention. Here is an outside corner and I got my string lines up and I'm checking to make sure that I'm long enough in the right spot. Then you plumb down and put a mark on it. And I got my string line going up the other direction for what I'm checking for is the other direction so I can put my outside two by six form on the other side as well, going the other direction. Making sure they're in the correct spot and those marks allows me to cut the correct length of board for the inside corner to make that, that turn. Now that these boards are online and in the correct spot, I can just measure a board since it's a known distance to the edge of my garage door, plus an inch and a half for the trim that goes excuse me, uh, minus an inch and a half for the trim that goes up and around the garage door opening. Here's a good example of why it's important that your joints on your two by sixes or your plywood land on a tie and also for your strong backs on the other side to get good equal support on both ends. Here, me and my helper are on the other side uh, running that. Starting at the corner, I chose to start at the highest spot. I just feel that that's the easiest. And my helper here, he's checking to make sure it's to grade as I'm bringing it up, helping me bring boards in. Um, again, I am working on both sides, <clears throat> just the first two board heights so that it always carries me up to that next step in, in the foundation, in the footing. So I'm always bringing back, start from the beginning, like a half board, and then a full board, half board, full board, um, continuing up with the set side, that's the inside form, and then carrying it on over to each step. I'm a pretty blessed carpenter when I got all this help, helping me out on my foundation forms. I got the neighbor boys coming over and help me check for grade. Okay, as well as my son, George. After I get the first row on both sides installed, then I come back and place the snap ties where they go for the next layer. So in between the first and second boards is a snap tie. Once that's on, then I can come back and put my strong bags on. Well, we're back at it. We got, uh, we're getting real darn close to getting this uh, one side of this form all, all formed up and, and then soon to be ready for rebar. So as you can see where I'm at, I made the turn and I got my string lines back up. Uh, this corner here is the inside edge is gonna be right about there. And so that's gonna be the, the first step. And then I'm gonna have some more boards going on top, but I'm, I'm all working from that corner this way, not from jumping around that sort of thing on that side to maximize the amount of 16 foot boards that, I, that I'm gonna be using. Cause I'm trying not to, to cut them at this stage. So um, also something just kind of, like I said before, making sure your, uh, your, your snap ties are on center spacing. So my boards are 16 foot, zero and seven eighths inch and so then i got to divide that by five and 
and I it, well for me that's what the spacing that I wanted anyhow and that comes out to three foot two and like nine sixteenths so so I'm gonna bring over one more board one more height the board coming around and then I'm gonna make this turn right here so how I made this this joint right here is I, I put a mark on my my string line which overnight it's it's changed from my my uh, it's stretched or shrunk or whatever it is um, but anyhow I had my black marks here from my sharpies and then I plumbed from there my form straight up that distance is how much it is from this board uh, to that board and I wanted to go over to one other snap tie that's the reason for that length and same thing I'm just kind of matching what's on the other side but that one on the other side is of course eight inches shorter because it's eight, eight inch wall so kind of keeps things simple this other board that comes in screws on the end that board is gonna butt into the end so yep that's what's going on and for today my goal for today it's a Sunday so I know it's stretched over a few weekends but you know I got a life too and uh you know this is just but i love doing this so this is what we're doing so but anyhow it's gonna still be a little while before we pour concrete there's still quite a bit of work to do rebar and um we also have a a grade point that i need to put on there a two by six and and plywood that's to make that top section look like a two by or a six inch wall and also for the slab to lap two inches onto that this wall with rebar turning into it so uh fair amount of work still yet to go so uh let's just keep on trucking keep on going notice the step in my footing here as well it's going tight against the bank so at this point it's also good to make sure your bottom of your boards there at the bottom of the stem wall so top of footing is all pretty darn close to line so that it's not moving either side it's also tied against the dirt because the dirt's going to be the form for my footing so making sure you're kind of tight there as well it's screwed so strong enough for concrete to be going against it at least you know about the height of the concrete while it's setting up before i start continuing on with the concrete pour making this transition here got my strong backs on going up two rows and then uh, carrying on. This uh, set side, excuse me, the button up side, I had to bring it up a little bit as well in this corner just because uh, the steps are so close together. And <clears throat> constantly checking back to my line, making sure I'm straight, here I am. This is called a hard kick. So there's no turnbuckle, it's directly nailed right to a stake or in some of the cases screwed to the stake. Um, where I, right here I had to adjust it because it was sticking a little bit past and making sure I had my eight inches and, uh, or excuse me, eight inches from my line. So uh, making sure things are kicked off well. Here, I, this is the end of my pour for, for the stem wall, but the, the footing portion underneath carries on and ties into the other side. So just the footing between where the our garage door carries on. Here, uh, oops, fell. So making sure your braces are nice and tight so you can really hurt yourself. But um, here I'm kicking things off uh, with some turnbuckles, some hard kicks, you know, depending on the case, and bring it over the line. I'm shimming it with my inch and a half uh, little spacer. Well, that just about wraps it up for this one-sided, uh uh, one side of this form, the set side of my foundation wall. You can see we got our two by six with our little rips on it to shim it out two inches. That makes our eight inch wall, six inch wall up here on top for the slab to tie into. So rebar is gonna be tied right up against it. And when this gets removed, rebar will bend over into the, into the slab. So I got all my block outs done keep the concrete out of where the uh, pipe sleeves and that sort of thing are. You can see like right here, making sure there's a lot of pressure on those. So I, I got a two by four on the backside, kickers down low, kickers up high with a two by four. 
Uh, that's a small solid plywood, so I got it all quick like that. And as well as the inside. So I'm trying to keep concrete out of that area and out of this area and that sort of thing. And then as well as I got one over on that side. So we're looking pretty good, pretty solid right now. So hopefully you learn. Hopefully uh, you got something out of this, uh, this one size of the process. So the next step is installing the rebar and then button it up. So, and of course, anchor bolts up on top. So, uh, and pouring some concrete, hey, okay? and just keep on going. So, all right, well, that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed and like always be safe when you do anything like that, wear all your proper PPE, like, like I try to do. So, uh, and like I should do, so. All right, I'll see you next time on the next one.